Hello and welcome to Walk the Talk. I am Shekhar Gupta in Davos, and my guest today, the one Indian economic leader that the whole world looks up to, Raghuram Rajan, RBI Governor. Morning. Welcome to Walk the Talk, and thank you very much for choosing the coldest morning <laughs> of, of this of this web. Yes, it is <laughs> very <this>. very cold. <laughs> very very cold. I think when the sun comes out here a little bit, it gets really cold. That's right. And uh, the mood's also a little bit. Chill this time. I mean, I know it's an old metaphor for Davos, but it is. Well, the markets have been uh, very volatile, and uh, of course today they seem to be picking back up. But uh, I think what we have really is a world economy where uh, central banks have pumped up market prices quite a bit, and uh, I don't think markets really know what the true level of fundamentals is. So they're trying to find a level. And uh, every time uh, uh, some news comes up, which can possibly <coughs> cause economic worries, there are jitters, there's volatility. Today it is uh, what's happening in China, whether China is going to depreciate, what's happening with the oil price, whether the oil funds are going to withdraw their money from markets. Tomorrow it could be something else. I think until we have more stability, uh, uh, partly as monetary policy becomes more normal. I think we may have this volatility. So, so because we don't know how we got to the top, that we are afraid of being there. No, we 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 pumped ourselves up to the top. I would say it's so not. The markets we, don't know. I mean, that, that's what yeah, you are saying. Exactly. The markets don't. Markets know. don't know what the right level is. The hope amongst uh, a lot of policymakers is, you've pumped uh, stock prices up. Now we elevate economic activity so they match the level of stock prices. Huh. But that's a big hope. Whether yeah. we can actually do that. So economic activity hasn't kept pace, and of course there are concerns about China slowing right now. Other emerging markets slowing. Brazil is now in deep recession. So these are issues that the market is worried about. Hmm. So um, I saw your, I heard your lecture uh, with uh, Dr. Kurian's portrait uh, in the background. Absolutely, uh, strong lecture on uh, on exactly this. And I think the point that you made, uh, which which gets me in the guts, as a as a non-economist, taxpayer, and borrower, uh, is that an individual can today borrow at a much lower rate, 300 basis points lower than a corporation or somebody producing power? Yes, yes. So, so how, how did we get ourselves into that jam? You, you're absolutely right. That's a point that needs to be made. That uh, there are two components to interest rates. One is the risk-free policy rate that we set. Right. And the other is the risk <coughs> premium that people demand to lend. And if somebody says they're borrowing at 13 and 14 percent from the bank, uh, today with the uh, policy rate at 6.75, that means that there is about six and a half percentage points of risk premium that people are asking from these people to lend. And that comes when the banks distrust you. Hmm. When the policy <coughs> that you follow is in good times, you take the upside. You take all the equity, but in bad times you go to the bank and say, "How much are you going to cut your uh, haircut? Your, uh, how, which, which, which what which haircut are you going which to take?" Which I now call Mundan. Mundan, exactly. <laughs> the Mundan. Is it tonsuring? Yes. And 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 you go to them and you say, "Look, uh, I know I have to pay you. Sometimes I even know that you have pledges against my assets. Right. But try me in court, huh. and I'll see you ten years later." Right. And so, let, why don't you take a one-time settlement of... And meanwhile, uh, if you go after me, other stuff will leak, <coughs> maybe CBI will go after you as well. Well, I, I'm not sure right. uh, about that side of, of the thread, but what I'm saying is the system right. has been geared towards uh, favoring those who have, uh, who have the ability right. to uh, work the courts, etc. Right. Well, the, we've also made some laws fairly stringent, such as Surfacey. Yes. So that with a small guy, the small I, businessman... I see these full-page ads in newspapers, yeah, yeah. Uh, people whose properties are being auctioned, right. and they're usually s small shopkeepers exactly. or s small house builders. Exactly. So we, can, we, we have a very powerful system against them, uh, and sometimes there's bank inefficiency in the process, etc. Uh, and I get letters every every so often from these small businessmen saying my property was seized, but the value of the property was significantly more than the loan I had taken, etc. Right. So they, they are heart-rending letters. At the same time, these laws are so stringent because we are trying to get 
back from well, the... I, I know cases of suicides in mining industry because mining shut down. Yeah. So small town contractors who had just borrowed to buy two JCBs yes. and now can't repay. Yes. And being repossessed and sh exposed yeah. to shame. Yeah, yeah. No, so, so uh, this is the problem with debt, right? Yeah. In order for it, for you to get low interest rates, the lender has to be able to repossess effectively. Right. So I don't think the answer is... Uh, is uh, softening the debt contract, but making it work effectively for the large for people. the big guy. Now, for the small guy, we need to find ways of dealing with these problems that don't shut down businesses automatically. Right. That perhaps we can work out with with the entrepreneur who has some prospects, uh, and without you know killing the business. That is something we need to think about. But broadly, I think uh, the the clamor for lower interest rates should also be a how can we fix our own house. Right to make sure yeah. that large entrepreneurs repay on time when they get into yeah. trouble. This, this leakage of credit. Exactly, exactly. And, uh, and I think this is something that we've been trying to work on. This so are, is you, are you going to do more on this? Well, uh, of course, the government has come up with this bankruptcy code, which I think will make a big difference. Right. Because in many other countries, it's the threat of taking the borrower to bankruptcy, which is what causes him to deal with the bank outside. It has to pass through our parliament. It certainly has, and there is some way to go. Also, the judicial system right. has to set up the right, uh, right. sort of tribunals and yes. so on. But, but I think that will make a big difference. Uh, I think we ourselves at the Reserve Bank have been creating processes for the banks to try and recover their money. Now, what we're doing is pushing them to be more firm in their dealings <coughs> with, the, with the borrowers and in cleaning up the banshees, with the idea that the idea is not to shut down firms, but to put them back on track, to put the projects into an earning mode so that they can repay the banks, so that the ultimate owner of the banks, the taxpayer, gets his money back. So, Raghu, uh, just as the Americans said, used to say in 2008, during the crisis, too big to fail. Yes. We have borrowers who are too big to repossess. Well, uh, we're... We're trying to change that. Yeah. We're trying to change Sushi that. Must change. Absolutely, and and I think the uh, what we do. Look, let me emphasize that this is not about big business. This is not about successful businessmen, uh, businesswomen, rich rich people. This is not uh, a Robin Hood issue. Right. Right. This is an issue about the wrongdoers amongst that community right. who, as you said earlier, raised the cost of borrowing for everybody. Right. This is saying, if we can get those guys to behave... And frankly, who, who seem to be suffering no pain. Exactly. It, it plays very poorly in public opinion also. Absolutely. If, if you flaunt your yacht or you flaunt your uh, you know, uh, massive birthday bashes, etc., right. right. even while owning this owing the system a lot of money right it does seem All to your cricket team uh, it does seem to suggest to the public you that don't, you don't care i don't care huh. I, I think that is the wrong message to and, send at this time and, and if, i own the system if if you are in trouble you should show that you care by cutting down your expenses and right. not flaunting more spending in public right. in fact it's, it's so interesting that you say this because even the theme at davos this year is so much about equity, so much about uh, fairer wages, the speech that uh, Joe Biden delivered here could have been delivered by, delivered by Indra Gandhi in old times uh, with some changes. Absolutely. So, uh, so this goes, this militates against that mood which is global now, it's not right. just in India. Right. No, I, I, I think we have to celebrate entrepreneurship. Right. We have to encourage much more of the kinds of businesses we are seeing emerging in India. I think Startup India is a great program. Right. But we also need to ensure that the established businesses do what they're supposed to do. Right. We need them. We absolutely... I'm sorry. This is a very cold day. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you are a Chicago wala. <laughs> well, this is cold for Chicago also. <laughs> you are better equipped than me. You, you know, uh, in, in Chicago, they say it's never cold. You're just underdressed. <laughs> uh, but... But anyway, the, uh, the point I'm, I, I think and is... Davos, you can never be dressed enough in January. Yes. If we can get the big businesses to do what uh, they're supposed to do, and many of them are, right. but the guys who are not behaving, if they can behave, I think they, coupled with all the young entrepreneurs who are coming on stream, we have a world-class system. So, so if you can fix some of this, this is the key to reducing real interest rates, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think 
if you can reduce the premium, the risk-free rate will come down as inflation comes down. Right, right. That is our endeavor. Right. I've always said the point is not to hold back business, but to create a sustainable environment where with inflation low, right. the saver, the person who keeps writing to me every day, why have you brought it down 200 basis points, right. 125 basis right. points? And I tell them, you're actually better off today than you were earlier. Right. Earlier you get, used to get 9% interest rate. Right. But inflation was 11%. So your principal right. was actually reducing in value. You right. got the income, huh. but your principal was deteriorating in value by 11% every yes. year. Yes. You didn't notice that. Right. Today you get 7% as interest rate, right. but inflation is 5.5%. Right. So your principal is not eroding. Right. You're actually getting interest rate over and above or, the rate or you of have inflation. To it like this one. So, so, you, so you don't have to. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. He's got socks he, on. He's got socks, yes. He's, he, even he needs socks or mittens, whatever, whatever he might call it. He's got them. shoes. He's got shoes. Hi. <laughs> so even if he needs shoes, it's really cold. <laughs> so, uh, Raghu, uh, what's your, and we know your diagnosis now uh, for the world and for India. What's your treatment for the world and for India? Well, the treatment for the world, I think, is uh, central banks have to say, okay, we've done enough. Let's now let things normalize. And, and I think this is important because as central banks do more, they're putting pressure on other central banks to join them. Right. Uh, you've seen the Chinese right. basically talk about, uh, at least send the signal they may be depreciating the renminbi. I think Part of the reason for that is they see the euro depreciating against the dollar, they see the yen depreciating against the dollar, and they say, why not us? And as you know, I've been making this statement again and again. We're not into the business of depreciating the rupee. Right. But we do feel the pain when the euro depreciates against right. us. Right, absolutely. Or the yen depreciates because our exports are less, yes. less. So we need a more predictable world where exchange rates are not the method by which we generate And you don't growth. lose your sleep over how much did the rupee open at this morning? Not just now, because I think we're in a fairly good position. Um, and we have fairly good people monitoring all the time. Of course, I do look at it, but I don't lose sleep over it. 